Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article that I have here from uh, Ukraine Forum tells us about uh, Russians transferring uh, missile, anti-aircraft uh, systems, missile systems from St. Petersburg the area to the Ukrainian front. So let's see what these guys are yapping around here. Ukraine Forum from uh, September 18th, 2022. Russia moves missiles from St. Petersburg to Ukraine. Satellite images indicate that Russia has been moving a large number of anti-aircraft missiles from St. Petersburg towards Ukraine. Satellite images reveal that both mobile firing platforms and missiles disappeared during the summer from a base in the Zelenog Gorsk area on the Karelian Isthmus, northwest of St. Petersburg, among others, Ile Finnish media outlet reports. As noted, St. Petersburg, Russia's second most important city, has long been surrounded by a protective ring of 14 anti-aircraft missile bases. Now several of them stand empty. IA or IE, has acquired most of the satellite images from commercial operators, complementing them with images from the Google Earth Pro app. The latest images are from August and September. The most obvious changes can be seen to the southwest of Sound, St. Petersburg. There, two entire batteries have been emptied. Pictures obtained by ILE show that about 20 missile containers, possibly containing 100 missiles, have been removed from one of the two remaining batteries. Moreover, not only the missile containers, but also a row of vehicles that have been standing in the open for years have disappeared. There has also been a significant transfer of equipment from a base southeast of St. Petersburg, about 10, 10 firing platforms as well as other vehicles. Most of the remaining anti-aircraft missiles in the St. Petersburg region are from the S-400 missile systems. The experts say the equipment that has been removed is primarily from the old s 300 systems. Well, and uh, it says here that UK Ministry of Defense says that Russia intensifies missile terror against Ukraine amid setbacks on front line. Well, if you still have the missiles, what are you supposed to do? Sit on them? So Russians fire 60 artillery Grad MLRS shells at Nikopol district. Casualties reported. So I'm reading through um, um, news, you know, coming from um, the Ukrainian side, and it seems like uh, the uh, Russians continue to be focused uh, on shelling the Ukrainians uh, more than really trying to advance. That has been, I think, the the issue has been in the same way uh, for the past uh, two, three months already. Where the front, with the exception of the Ukrainian counteroffensive, uh, showed little changes over there. Now, those missiles that are taken and the systems taken from St. Petersburg area, I don't think is just something minor. In order to, I would say, deplete your uh, defensive uh, uh, systems of an important city, um, it's a big thing. Now, you can say, well, who's gonna attack St. Petersburg? You will say, nobody. Or if the one who's gonna attack it is gonna receive back a nuclear weapon in their teeth. So then I think that uh, could be the idea because the Russians are not idiots even if these guys are trying to portray them as idiots. That means they are doing their assessments, you know, in uh, offensive and defensive departments military departments and obviously they think okay we have St. Petersburg look on the map and see who might attack St. Petersburg and you say okay that's the Baltic states 
point, uh, Poland will not dare it because they know. I'm telling you this. Poland knows that they, if they make the slightest move, military move against Russia, Russia will not have any patience with Poland. I guarantee you that. <laughs> not that I can, but that's my conviction. Based on how much love is between the nations and how much Poland did to the Russians now without having to be involved in any way. With this, we help and all that, which is do whatever you want, Poland, but actions have consequences. And Russia will not get, uh, will not get tangled with Poland like it got with Ukraine. 40 million people, Poland, armed NATO troops and all that. No, they will probably say, just make your move. Just scratch me and I will squash you. That's what thing is, That's why Poland is kind of like, yeah, uh, they got the warning and they know what's going to, ha what's going to happen. I, I'm 99% certain that if Poland does something uh, militarily towards Russia, they will receive a nuclear bomb. I'm 99% certain. Without any hesitation. It's not going to be conventional bullshit. Uh, we, we will see. Now, St. Petersburg. The Finns will not do anything over there for the same exact reason. So nobody will move over there. I guarantee you that, guarantee you. Probabilities and possibilities. They have the possibilities that the probabilities are very, very, very slim. Uh, why? Because I don't think the Russians will use conventional warfare with anybody else. I think they might be pushed to an extreme, to a corner right now, or they put themselves in a corner, however you want to look at things. And they are just saying, all right, I'm dealing with these guys. Let's see. When those guys cross the red line, which they already said they crossed it, and I don't see anything changing yet, then we're going to switch the whole thing from uh, 3 to 10. And that's going to be boom, boom, boom. And that's it. Now what? Are you going to attack us? Okay, let's do it. And that would be it. And I know the Western countries love their lives more than the Russians, so they will not do anything about it. I guarantee you that also. It's because when you all have a good life, it's harder for you to uh, say bye-bye to a good life. But when you have a shitty life, it's much easier to say bye-bye life. So that's what it is. And not that the Russians have a shitty life, but shittier than the Westerners. So, and it's another culture and many other things that I'm not going to get into this. The problem is, they got that from over there based on calculations. Now, they had to take it because they don't have it anywhere else. That's 100% obvious. I mean, they don't have it in, uh, I don't know, North Pole or something, or Arctic area, those things. Otherwise, they would have taken from there. Or maybe they did, and these guys did not see it yet. Okay, but to take it from here under the nose of these guys, to see it, that means you got to a, uh, uh, you know, to a point where you don't have it. That's my assessment. If you take it from the big city, you calculated the risks, the costs involved with that. That means you got your calculation, you warned everybody else or you didn't, but they know better, like the Poles, I guarantee you that. And then they bring it here. We'll see. Now, you saw the Ukrainians got what? $16 billion in arms money. Not money, weapons already done, built for them. And I uh, posted a video two days ago, yesterday, I think, last night or something, two days ago. I can remember, time passes so fast. Where I was talking about how, where would position Ukraine in a global ranking of uh, a military, uh, how do you call it, uh, budget with 16, million, 16 billion dollars, six months provided by United States, they would make it 30, let's say 32 billion a year given from United States only. If I add everybody else, it will be about 20 million, 20 billion. There will be 40 billion. It's about, I don't know, 11th, 12th place. I think it was after South Korea or something like this. 12, 15th place in the world as a budget. Ukraine all of a sudden? Please. <laughs> That's a lot of money in one year. That's half of Russia's budget, which is like 56 billion. And this guy that, no, what half? Well, I'm talking stupid shit now. It's almost the same as these guys. If you look like that, I can right? It was, uh, how much it was? I can't remember, 80 billion or something? Because I know it was like almost half or something, 56. 
I know Chinese have 250 billion, the United States have 800 billion, so it's a lot of money, a lot of billions. So yeah, the Russians, if they see the, the, uh, their conventional weapons depleted, what do you think they're going to do? Lose? <laughs> no, they can't afford losing. Do you remember? Do, do you remember? Do you think that uh, the Russian schools will teach their kids that they lost to Ukraine and the West? <laughs> you don't know how Russians are. I mean, if if you, you United States is, of, is okay is okay teaching their kids that hey we lost in Vietnam. <laughs> uh, well, this is a society that goes down and crumbles from within, from certain uh, because of certain reasons. When you have to hate yourself here because you're American or whatever. Now the Russians are not like they're like that yet. That's another reason why they have to become like this self-hating Russian for whatever they are owing everybody an apology and being guilty of things that did not do or if they did everybody else did but somehow they had to feel more guilty than everybody else ignoring the qualities and whatever the civilization they they uh, formed they uh, developed and so on it's outrageous anyway it's concerning the uh, movement of those missiles and uh, those uh, systems but you do what you need to do Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.